We're losing the light, guys. Oh, look, here's my shorts. It was close. I nearly cut my tie. Let's go and check out this uh, this island, Manuel Island. Wow, there's more animals than ducks. Whoa, look at this, the Duck Haven. 1570 Bishop of Malta at the time used to live here. There is also a quarantine facility. It's called Lazzareto. Jesus, look at the state of it. Look. Well, hopefully, sometime someday it's gonna be open for the people. And look, what a view! Come outside through those doors back in the days, and you have this view. Whoa! Right, everybody, we are here in Xira. Look at this place. So we're actually in a place called Xira. This forms part of Xira where we're going. Check out all these ducks. Because this is also very famous here, Manuel Island. Look at them. Oh, this guy is taking a dip. Look, you're gonna watch. So this is uh, Xira right here. This is Xira, and this is uh, an island. In fact, I'm on a bridge right now, finding myself on a bridge. And we're going inside, we're going inside to see how it is today. And it's called Manuel Island, so it forms part of Xira. In Maltese, Xira, uh, we say Xira in, in English, it translates to island, but it's not an island. Xira is just an inland, but this surpassing the bridge forms part of Xira. It, 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 it does form part of Xira. And we'll find Manuel Island and there's a lot of rich history about this. I'm going to tell you more about it when we go into it. See where we can find what we're finding and what we're we going to encounter. I know that people come here for uh, around this time. Um, shooting this video around 6 p.m., 6, 7 p.m. So I don't have much light, but let's go and uh, check out this, um, this island, Manuel Island. But the, the views are amazing, the way is Slima, and then you go to St. Julian's. But today, this is where we're going. Let's go. Look, Manuel Island entrance. It's paparazzi restaurant. Okay. Now there's a restaurant and there is uh, like a tennis court here, or maybe tennis club. No, it's pedal mode. Okay, so it's a pedal club, this new sport. Look at these guys playing paddle. So it's a new trendy sport. I don't know in your country if you have the sport, but let's go this way. Now let's uh, talk about, I'm gonna share with you a bit, a bit like facts about Manuel Island. So before it was, it was formerly known as Bishop Island, Isola del Vescovo. Now Isola del Vescovo and Bishop Island, the reason being because in the 15th 1570 around that time there was uh, actually there's something interesting here we're gonna show you here um 1570 the bishop of malta was was pretty much living here okay so there's a fort fortification it's a fortified uh, island as well we're gonna see about that if we can get in i don't know uh, it's been a long time since i've been here but the cool thing look this is why ducks are important here because look what you find pretty cool Wow, there's more animals than ducks. Whoa, look at this. It's like a, a duck haven or something. Wow, pigeons. It's crazy. Chicks, chickens. Never seen this. It's like a hotel kind of thing. It's like a kind of hotel. Wow, there's a lot of pigeons right now. All types, all colors. Wow, that's interesting. Some cats in here. Hello. It's a black and white a Juventus cat right there or kitten. So there's a, little, a lot of boats as well here because they uh, somehow it's uh, also a marina here on this side. I believe on just on this side of. Uh, of uh, Manuel Island. Look, you can see there's boats all over. Uh, maybe they're working, they're doing some works on them as well. So this is what you see right now. Look, a lot of, I don't know what you call, what you call this. So 
they can carry the boats. So what they're doing is they are uh, thinking of this is the developers. I don't know if it says something here. Uh, no, the name of the construction. No. So I don't know exactly what they're doing here. A lot of people, locals, they want, and I agree with them, they want like some kind of park so people can come visit with their family. And let's see here. So this is the marina place. They fix everything. Yeah. So this is the yacht marina place where they take care of this yacht yard. This place, look, it's all barricaded. Now, hopefully, I can get inside. Let me continue on uh, um, uh, on the facts that I prepared for you. So, 1570, Bishop of Malta at the time used to live here. This was 1570, so a long time ago. And there is also a facility, a quarantine facility, it's called Lazzareto. It turned into a hospital over here. I think it's facing that way, which is Valletta. Let's see if we can find it. And the cat is afraid. Okay, so we're in another side. Seems that the wall is... We cannot see the wall here, so... They, they didn't come here. But check this place out. It's an abandoned place. I don't know when it was built, but... See, all the glasses, the windows smashed down. Crazy. Okay, so there's some stairs here, let's see. We can manage to see what's inside here. All right. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> so we can go in from here. Oops. Because there's no obstacle here. And we're in. So I think we shall continue from this side. It's a lot of people with dogs and people who trains. And their workouts. This gentleman here. Yeah, the do workout is pretty awesome. Look, look at this space. So you can go and run around this small island of Manuel Island. Now, you might say, what's that kind of building used for? So it could be that it was built maybe when the English were here, the British were, were here, because as you can see, it's much more modern, obviously, than the fortifications over here, where the fort is. We're gonna go get closer and maybe see, and see if we can go inside. But anyhow, this could, look, there are silos here, kind of silos. Maybe they use them for storage. And this could be the same. Maybe offices, who knows? We don't know, if you know, leave a comment below if you uh, know more information about Manuel Island. Now, I was rumbling and mumblings, mumbling about what I was saying. Uh, so there was... What's this? Okay, so it's a pet. Pet uh, product. Makes a noise, like a, like a soft toy. Anyway, so Lazzaretto was a hospital, quarantine facility, hospital that was on the island, used for quarantine. Kind of like these days, right? When uh, someone needs to do quarantine. So that's what you used to put them. And it's also rich when it comes to the historical aspect of it because, because it played a big role when Malta was uh, heavily bombarded, severe bombarded in the uh, Second World War. This was saved, was, was, was used as a naval base. As you can see, we told you about the yachts and all that. So since it's an island and the only way to access it by foot or by car uh, it's from uh, the, the way that I showed you in the beginning then there is ways obviously by boat so people one can come you can uh, go from Valletta 
to here with your boat or kayak. I saw people coming also with their kayak. There's no trips, if you're asking. There's no day trips, you know, from Valletta or somewhere else or Slima to come here. To Slima you can walk it. To, uh, if you're coming from Valletta, you can catch the ferry from Valletta to Slima and then you can walk over here. Maybe you can do some workouts or, I don't know, or explore like I'm doing and I'm showing you through my lens, right? So this is a huge area. I don't know what it was used for, but this is how it looks like right now. Now, the shape of this island is an interesting fact as well. It's like a leaf and uh, the, they changed the name from Bishop Island, Isola del Vescovo in 17, around 17th century or 1720s, I believe, uh, because it was named after one of the Portuguese grandmaster, Antonio Manuel de Vilena. So that's why Manuel Island, they named this island after him, which uh, is one of those uh, grandmasters that left a lot, left a legacy on the island with his uh, works when uh, there was the Knights in Malta. Hmm, what was this? Maybe it goes underground. Who knows? Okay, it's closed. There's a lot of CCTV, CCTV cameras. There's a security spot here. Yeah, I think this goes underground, maybe underground the building. As you can see, you cannot go inside before. I remember before you can, you could. So look, there's another bridge here. That's the only way to go to the fortifications now. So this is a fort, as you can see. And then back there, there is the Fort Manuel. Let's see if we can go around this. I want to go around this. Okay, people doing their workouts. I'm back. Wow, this has changed a lot. It's totally abundant. This is my perspective. Look, it's close to us over here. Or, now I cannot jump. But look, the beauty of it is that you can see that's Valletta right there. So they're doing some works on one of the churches. There's 25 churches in Valletta, so look. So between here and Valletta, there's no buildings, it's sea. Okay, so it's very close. As you can see, you can swim it if you could <laughs> go to the other side. But as you can see, guys, everything is blocked. Look, there's even a boulder that can come down as well. That's the state. Look, look at this. State of Manuel Island right now. I think the best way is, uh, to enjoy this is by getting a kayak from Valletta to come here or maybe the surrounding areas, you know, maybe even uh, the three cities like uh, Sanglea or and uh, Bormla, uh, Birgu, Calcare can enjoy your uh, kayak, kayak uh, adventure if you will when you come here because I'm finding also this side. So let's go to the other side, maybe. Just maybe we we'll find a spot so we can come in. Golden hour, guys. Best way to shoot, even pictures. Golden hour. So far, this exploration is not going as planned, my friends. But you always try to get the positives out of every single adventure or uh, or things like this you know exploration look look how beautiful it is so we're gonna go this way and see what we can find but look just to show you there's like a ferry it's a ferry right there it's a lot of boats and this is where there's a slima ferry right there where you can uh, catch ferry and you can go to valletta so either or it goes both ways and uh, i don't want to lose light since sun is setting behind me now earlier i told you that back then like when i was a kid with uh, we call it museo okay those who are uh, locals will understand me we were like 14 15 around that that uh, that age that group age we used to come and we used to play sports sometimes you know every sunday they take us out and once we had uh, someone who who took care of us you know who taught us things and he loved adventure so 
I remember coming here, getting inside where it was closed, where now it's barricaded, and uh, you can see the the yard, you can see the fortification. There also there was also cars inside, and uh, he was telling us he was telling us that those cars were uh, uh, the cars that the police confiscated, and this is where they used to at that time. I don't know now, obviously. I don't think so. Uh, they used to confiscate the, these cars and uh, store them underneath uh, the, uh, the fortification right there. And uh, at that time, we didn't have cameras or anything, but we can just admire it from from this side or maybe from another point of view. I will show you uh, in the next scenes. Now, this is already a better spot then uh, up there it was now here as you can see there's some people relaxing and you can fish or you can relax and swim here okay you can go here as a rocky area that's quite shallow that you can go and swim the, the road has been fixed which is pretty pretty also a good point to see people the barbecue good thing is that now there's a little breeze and the weather is changing uh, rapidly look how many big boats so this is, this is Fernandez if I'm not mistaken I used to go party on that so it's a party uh, boat it goes to Comino and things like that a lot of uh, young people uh, love uh, the fact that they go uh, and do and they just started doing the parties right there a lot of different party uh, boats right there so look guys pretty much this is where I'm at the blue spot and basically look the island Manuel Island looks like a leaf so we showed you the Manuel Island yacht marina the duck village where uh, I filmed as well I think I put it in the video I will put it in the video anyhow and uh, pretty much this road is closed look it's uh, an end uh, it, it ends right there so see if we can find uh, I go back and see if I go on the right side of the island. Oh, seems this, these guys have a dog party. Look how many dogs. Jeez. Everywhere I see and I go, I'm finding everything closed, guys. Here's noises. These are the, the dog party behind me playing with their dogs oh, look everywhere it's close barricaded see if we can go around this thing this fortification that could be interesting if we can let's see this is, uh, situation right here look dead wood dead trees right there looks like a Pyramid in Egypt. Look at this. We're losing the light, guys. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay. All right, we made it. Oh. Look. Here's my. Shorts. It was close. I nearly cut my my tie. All right, so we made it to the bottom, and this is the what do you call it? The east side of the island. So look, somehow it was used for something in here because it's the metal door. But we don't know. We honestly don't know. So let's uh, follow this path right here. So that's the side I was uh, I was there when I came in, and I went all around here. So I found this path. Let's see quickly if it's worth it, because so because so far we're like in an abundant island. Honestly, this is how I feel: an abundant island where uh, hardly we can move inside like deep inside 
where the good stuff is. Yes, not totally abandoned because you see a lot of people, mostly foreigners, coming here, maybe with their dogs or walking or doing some training. But beautiful skies look. Wow. I don't know if you can see it through this uh, camera, but it's kind of orangey. Beautiful. Beautiful evening. But what I was saying, look, there's a lot of plants here, trees. But unfortunately, I cannot go in as I wished, I, I hoped to do, but it changed a lot from the last time I, I was here. So maybe it's not just the media office, the head office of the company here. But look, this level is smashed. Oh. This place. What's here? Let's see. Rampage Regional Marine Pollution Emergency Response Center for the Mediterranean Sea. All right. So that's what it was used for. But look. Nowadays, call it, look. Look at this. This place. But it's locked. Jesus, look at the state of it, look at, look at, look at the roof, you can fall on, on people here, oh, let's see what, what's inside in here, not my people, but look, it's pitchy dark, you know, but I will see when I'm editing what uh, you're looking at. I can't reach. It's glass. Look, it's glass. I can cut myself. Look, in this place. Oh. Okay. Look at this. So this is from the other angle. I don't know when this. This office was used for the last time, but this is a huge space, my friends. Look, big space. I'm glad I made it on this side because it's interesting even more. As you can see. How abundant this place is. Look, this place is locked. Ah, it's bad luck. Right Look how crazy. Like, especially these, these roofs can fall easily. Look. I don't know what you call them in English, but we call them shipka. So if, it's, if, if that is showing, that's problems for sure. Wow. Well, hopefully, sometime, someday, it's gonna be open for uh, for the people. Maybe they fix it up, they demolish it, they rebuild it. Maybe like they're planning. I don't know what they're planning actually, but you get my gist, right? They do something not just for businesses, but also for the people, like a park. Because it seems that people love it. Love, at, even at, at, at this state of it, people love coming here and just walk by and that's it. At least there is pavement, there is actually asphalt, not pavement, but there's uh, asphalt on the roads. But to come here and you look at this place, like this, you know, it's sad, and it's been here for ages, for sure. I mean, the state does tell a story, right? Danger sign. Wow, look at, look at the pipes. These are the old pipes, metal or that kind of metal with rust, obviously nowadays. Now we're using plastic all over. 
but you know buildings like this built during the British era you find a lot of these pipes also underneath so buildings that were built at that time nowadays they're being changed into plastic okay so right there is Floriana this is the Excelsior Hotel it's a five-star hotel here this is beautiful spot here if you're uh, into photography this is a great spot look look at this this is a great place imagine with that uh, the church fixed without the scaffolding and everything it's pretty awesome but look it's all closed this is so far where can i go look Oh, the wind here, it's picking it up, it's picking up, the wind is picking up, but look, at least, this is a better angle of the fortification here, somehow the gate is open here, but see, actually, there's people here swimming and everything, so look, that's the hotel, that's Valletta, but, we're more interesting. I'm more interested in seeing this place. It's 7.30 right now, so uh, losing light. But for you guys, look. Look how awesome. Touching history, my friends. Look. Bam! Is there some light here? That's good. Okay. Interesting. So from this side, actually, we can go inside. CCTV, but you know how we do it. Whoa, look at this. Now that's the entrance. Wow. This is the place to be. This is the entrance. And look, what a view. Go come outside those, those doors back in the days. And you have this view. Whoa. It's pretty awesome. It's a view. And even if you come with a kayak. Okay, this is a place to come and uh, put your kayak and come uh, here and explore and walk. Wow, this place is worth it to come over here. So basically guys, we just toured around Manuel Island. Yes, we found uh, the challenge to get inside. At least we came around it. That side is hard, you cannot see anything. But this is... Uh, the best area to come so it's the east side of the island of Manuel Island ex formerly known Bishop Island but check the uh, the architecture check the details okay there's a bridge right here look the only way to get in is to go on this bridge So it's all locked obviously so it's a big door and a small door like just like any gates in malta like uh, what i showed you in Medina. if you haven't watched that video go check it out but this is how we get in inside the fortification of uh, manuel island so having said that this is all i'm uh, gonna leave you for the next video until the next time guys thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.